hi everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to talk about installation and configuration of azure monitor agent for linux with the help of data collection rule now before you go ahead and watch this video there are certain prerequisites that you must know the very first one is what is azure arc enabled servers or what is the purpose of azure arc what is Azure Log Analytics Workspace? What is Azure Monitor Agent? What is Data Collection Rule? The purpose of Syslog and how exactly our Syslog service works. Now, I have already created two different playlists for everything that I have discussed. I mean, this is end-to-end -end playlist for Azure Arc. Then you also have one for Azure Monitor. So if you think that there is something that you may want to revisit, and you might not know, please go ahead and watch those videos first because there are many concepts which I have already explained in detail and I'm just going to use them as a reference point in this particular video. So the core agenda of this video will be installation of Azure Monitor Agent on Linux machines. What is the list of supported OS and network requirements? What are the roles required to install Azure Monitor Agent? Where exactly DCR is saved in the machine, which table is used for data ingestion in log analytics workspace and how to check syslog events in log analytics workspace. Now, the very first thing that we have to keep in mind is we're talking about Linux as a platform. So the very first prerequisite is to make sure that you have installed Python on the machine where you're going to install AMA agent. Okay. Now for this particular demo, the machine that I'm using is RHEL 9.2. And as you can see, I have already installed Python and the version is 3.9.16. Now, since there are two different components uh, which are required, the very first one is Azure Arc and the other one is Azure Monitor Agent. So you need to make sure that you have whitelisted the URLs for both of these services. Now in my Azure Arc playlist, I have already discussed about the endpoints which are required. However, this list that you see right now is moreover related to Azure Monitor. With this being said, I always recommend to go ahead and check the official documentation by Microsoft, okay? So this documentation is something that you should refer whenever you are planning for any kind of whitelisting because these endpoints, they keep on changing. Similarly, when it comes to supported OS perspective, you should always check the current list. Now, I will be adding both of these links in the description. Please go ahead and read these two articles whenever you plan for your AMA agent deployment, okay? Now, the very first thing that we have to keep in mind is permissions. Which permission is required for what kind of activity? The very first one is monitoring contributor because this role is required for creation of DCR and associating a machine with a DCR. If you are planning to deploy AMA on virtual machines in Azure, then virtual machine contributor role is required. Now, if you are performing this activity for the servers which do not exist in Azure, again, which are Azure Arc resources, then you need Azure connected machine resource admin role. Now, this is general Azure RBAC that a role assignment can be done either at the subscription level or at the resource group level. Go ahead and perform these assignments as per your requirement. Now let's talk about where exactly Azure Monitor Agent can be installed. It can be installed on Azure VM. It can be installed on virtual machine scale sets. It can be installed on any machine that exists across any platform it can be your on-prem data center it can be some other cloud let's say gcp or amazon because you will be using azure arc to get these machines onboarded to azure as an azure resource but the question is how exactly this deployment of azure monitor agent is going to happen to deploy azure monitor agent from azure portal you have to create a dcr first then associate the resource with the dcr and then Azure Monitor Agent will be installed automatically in the form of extension. So once you have onboarded the machines which do not exist in Azure with the help of Azure Arc, they will get listed in Azure as Azure resource. And all you have to do is once you are creating data collection rule, just scope these resources. Now, for this particular video, what I'm going to showcase that syslog from Linux machine will be captured 
and it will be ingested in the syslog table of the workspace all the performance counter from linux machine must be captured and they will be ingested in the perf table of the workspace however in this scenario i am using two different workspaces the very first one is performance monitoring and the other one is sentinel now performance monitoring workspace will receive all the perf data whereas sentinel workspace will receive all the syslog data now let's talk about the step-by-step -step process how exactly it is going to work step number one is to make sure that you have onboarded your non azure machine to azure with the help of azure arc in this video i'm going to show you how you should deploy ama on an azure arc enabled server and as i've stated before i'm using a machine which is rhel 9.2 and the host name is azure arc and on this particular machine our syslog service is running so step number two will be creation of data collection rule and then step number three will be associating the machine with the data collection rule and then step number four will be defining the data sources i mean what kind of information should be captured and where exactly it should be sent okay now let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense so what you see now is one of my browser where I have opened multiple tabs to show you all the information end to end. Let's get started from the machine itself. Okay, so this is my machine on which I have to deploy AMA. And as of now, you can see the extension section is not showing you any information because the AMA agent is not deployed. Now, step number one is to go ahead and create data collection rule. So here I'm just going to type, let's say Linux hyphen syslog CW concepts work. And here I'm going to select my subscription. And now I'm going to select my resource group. Now this location should be the same, precisely speaking, where your machine exists. And platform type has to be Linux. Now data collection endpoint is not required for Windows and Linux as a platform. Next, I'm going to click on resources. Now, as of now, I am at step number three, where I'm going to associate my machine with a data collection rule. Now, I can only associate a machine once it is onboarded, right? So here exactly my machine exists, which is my on-prem machine named as Azure Arc. It exists in this particular resource group inside this particular subscription, and I'm going to click on apply now i'm going to click on next and you can see this is the section where i have to create data sources which means i'm going to define that what information should be captured and to which workspace it has to be routed so i'm going to click on add data source and here i'm going to select the very first one which is performance counter and for this the destination should be my workspace which is named as performance monitoring I'll click on add data source and then I'm again going to click on add data source and this time I'm going to select Linux syslog and I'm just going to select all the facilities which possibly can generate log and then this is the log level I mean what log level you want either it is warning notice info whatever you want I'm selecting debug so that everything that is actually getting generated in the form of logs should be ingested now my destination has to be the workspace which is sentinel okay now i am going to click on add data source now both of these data sources are added before i go ahead and deploy this let me show you something quickly so that will give you more idea as of now i'm trying to query all the logs that are associated with this particular machine and I'm just going to click on run in last 24 hours and hopefully I should not get any information. As you can see, there is nothing which is coming over here. Let me just quickly open one more tab and let's be on that extension tab because the moment I'll click on review and create, the extension tab itself will get updated, okay? So this is where we will check the logs which is getting captured by my machine. And this is where we will check the extension data okay so perfect this is the naming convention and everything i've scoped my resource i have added the data source that's it no tag required for now just go ahead and create the data collection rule 
Now, typically it takes around 5-10 minutes to be very precise uh, for the entire process to get completed, which includes the data collection rule creation, then deployment of the AMA agent itself. Now, let's say if I click on go to resource, this is my data collection rule. And if I click on resource, it will show me the machine which we have just scoped. Again, as I've saying before, it takes at times a couple of minutes. So let me quickly check if we are getting anything in the extension. You can see it is showing me the extension is getting created. Okay. Now, once this extension is created, the AMA will be installed on my machine and as defined in the DCR itself which is this one again you can see the machine is getting listed now here the entire configuration will reach the machine and all the data ingestion will start happening now when i say entire configuration this is the list of all the performance counters that should be captured and then you can see all the facility name and here you see the log levels okay so i'm going to pause this video for let's say five minutes and then we'll resume once i'll see the data okay Okay, so it took around nine minutes for everything to get completed. And now if I'll go ahead and show you the extension tab, you can see it is showing me succeeded and this was creating before. Okay, now if I go ahead and let's say search the data, which is getting ingested from this particular machine, I should get syslog mentioned here and okay, perfect. So I can also see perf here. Now let me just go ahead and summarize all the data that I'm getting for this particular machine. And I just want to see how many tables are receiving data. So as you can see, syslog is also receiving data and perf table is also receiving data. But now the question is that these two tables that we see here are basically two different workspaces altogether. And let me show you this quickly. So if I go ahead and check the Sentinel tables or let's say the log, which is going to my Sentinel workspace, then let me just quickly do syslog here. And then let me also summarize the count in last 24 hours. Okay, let's just check the computer name. Perfect, you can see it's showing me Azure Arc. Okay, now here itself, if I go ahead and check for perf in this workspace itself, you can see I'm not getting any data. Now, if I go ahead and check the performance monitoring workspace, and if I go ahead and check the logs, let's say I want to check perf logs, and this time show me the one which is coming for Azure Arc, you can see now here again, I can say summarize count by computer and I should get only one entry, hopefully, which is Azure Arc. Okay, so this is one of my machine, which is sending data as well. But this is a Windows machine. This is the one on which we were working. Okay, now let's talk about one more very important aspect. And that is instead of using workspace IDs and workspace key for authentication, Azure Monitor Agent uses managed identity, which is created while machine is getting onboarded to the Azure Arc service. Okay. Now there is one more component which is actually very important, and that's moreover related to Azure Monitor Agent, and that is since AMA is actually deployed in the form of extension, this gives you the privilege to centrally manage them from Azure Portal itself. Likewise, installing, updating, and removing extensions. Now, Azure Monitor Agent is something that can actually be automatically updated, okay? Let me show you this as well. So, if I click on here, if there is any update, I can go ahead and just click on update, and the AMA agent will be updated. Similarly, I can disable automatic upgrade, and I can enable it if required, okay? Now, Though this is something which I've already shown, and that is the tables that are used to ingest data. When Azure Monitor Agent is installed to capture Linux OS syslog data, 
the data is ingested to syslog table and performance counter data was ingested to perf table. Now, when Azure Monitor Agent is installed to act as a forwarder, then the data is ingested in common security log table provided the log format is CEF. Now, this is a Sentinel use case and we'll talk about this in a lot more detail, but just for your information, Azure Monitor Agent can act as a collector as well. And this is something which I have covered in my Seam playlist as well. Now, let's talk about the last aspect in which is which folder gets created on a Linux machine, which saves the DCR, okay? So this is my Linux machine right now. All you have to do is go to etc, opt, and then Microsoft, and then Azure Monitor Agent, config cache, and inside this, there will be one more folder named as config chunks, which is this one. And if you'll click on list it will show you the actual json of the data collection rule which has been saved so now let's say if i render this what you can see end-to-end -end data collection rule which has been pushed from uh, the azure directly to this particular machine and you can see all the details mentioned over here right which log type is getting captured this was again the performance part which was related to performance counter itself. And then similarly, you will also have the end-to-end -end address, the subscription resource group and whatnot, okay? So this was all about knowing how exactly AMA agent is going to work for Linux as a platform. And we have discussed n number of different things related to Linux as a platform itself. But still, long way to go. In the next video, we are going to talk about data collection rule advanced configurations and structure so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time